The search for clues continues in Baltimore this morning. As federal investigators say, they're now reviewing the cargo ship's data recorded, try to piece together what caused that ship to crash into the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The bodies of two construction workers have been recovered. Four people are still missing and presumed dead. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest. Crews in Baltimore have moved from a recovery mission to a salvage operation. We have exhausted all search efforts in the areas around this, this wreckage. The bodies of at least two construction workers were recovered from the scene of the bridge collapse, as was the ship's black box. The NTSB is analyzing the data for clues. Our entire focus on scene is to collect the perishable evidence. That's documenting the scene, it's taking photographs, it's taking any sort of electronics or components. Cleanup is also underway. The Coast Guard says 56 containers on board the ship had hazardous materials. Some of them were breached. We have a machine on the um, waterway. The federal, state, and local authorities are aware of that and they will uh, be in charge of addressing those issues. This incident is expected to have a significant impact on the supply chain. The national economy and the world's economy depends on the port of Baltimore. The port handles more cars and more farm equipment than any other port in the country. President Biden is working with the Coast Guard and the U.S. Transportation Secretary on response efforts. The president and the whole government will be here with you until everything is rebuilt stronger than ever. The Biden administration pledges to help Baltimore for as long as it takes. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.